Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Mexico as the Charlotte family tries to find answers into how a 25-year-old wound up dead. Well, conflicting reports now have them now wondering what really happened at a villa in Cabo San Lucas. Morgan Francis tonight spoke to the family and joins us now here in the studio. So, Morgan, when did all this happen? Alicia, this happened about two weeks ago. Shinquilla Robinson went to Mexico with her friends. She arrived early on Friday the 28th, and her family says the next morning she was dead. It was supposed to be a fun, long weekend for 25-year-old Shinquilla Robinson and her group of friends who went to Cabo to celebrate one of their birthdays. She told me they had a chef they were getting ready to eat. They was eating tacos, something, salad or something they was eat. And um, I said, well, okay, I love you. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I'm going to talk to my child again, and she never made it back home. Robinson's mom, Salamandra, says within 24 hours of her daughter's arrival, she was dead. Figuring out how or why has only added to the family's nightmare. It started with a frantic call from Robinson's friends. They said she wasn't feeling well. She had alcohol poison. They couldn't get her puffs. Each one of the, the people that was there with her was telling different stories. It's when the family made calls to the FBI and Mexican authorities that they learned of another potential cause of death. When the autopsy came back, they said it didn't have anything to do with alcohol, said that she had been, um, she had a broke the neck and her spine in the back was cracked. She had been beaten. Salamandra says the entire group came back from Mexico, leaving her daughter's body there. Nearly two weeks and $6,000 later, her body is back home. But answers have been hard to come by. You know, I know that's not going to bring my child back, but I want something done about it. Queen City News has spoken with officials at the U.S. State Department in Mexico who refute the claim that Robinson was murdered, saying the police's initial indication is that there was no clear evidence of foul play. Here in Charlotte, her family refuses to believe their daughter's death was an accident, and they vow to find the truth of what happened that night in Cabo. She had a heart of gold. She loved everybody, and, and pretty much everybody loved her. An official with the State Department told us they're helping the family obtain reports from authorities and recommend the family hires a private investigator and an attorney if they question the circumstances surrounding Shinquilla's death. Alicia. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.